So how to heal the inflammatory process in the case of leaky gut? We're going to be looking at factors that will help clear the skin issues like eczema, atopic dermatitis, psoriasis, and the itching of chronic urticaria. If this is due to leaky gut, which in many cases it can be, we can take the same steps as we would, as we would in healing any leaky gut condition. If there's an impedance to digestion, we fix it because there's an issue with the breakdown of products of digestion. And the first step of the digestive response is where we start. Chewing your food well to get the mouth enzymes going is very important. Also, starting with gratitude or a prayer to actually shift the body into the parasympathetic nervous system realm, allowing your digestion to occur more easily. Also, making sure that patients are stooling normally so that they're not reabsorbing toxins back into their system and into their liver that had been trying to be purged but just got reabsorbed because they'd sat there so long. If you don't have appropriate gallbladder or stomach enzymes and your gut motility is slow, you can always supplement those. And if someone has any food sensitivities, eliminate those from the diet. Cleansing parasites and yeast from the gut is helpful. Taking a quality prebiotic to restore the normal gut flora and healing the gut barrier is especially helpful in eczema. Taking adequate fiber to increase the healthy gut flora means you also need to be on a low sugar diet to decrease yeast. And trying a systemic antifungal is often not the answer. If you can do a low yeast, low sugar, herbal antifungal type uh, regimen, this is sometimes much more beneficial because the systemic antifungals can gain resistance over time.